Hi everybody, this is Uncle Cheese. I'm here to show you some new features of the Data Object Manager module uh, that are going to help you out with audio and video uh, media delivery on your website. Uh, what I've added is some new classes to the File Data Object Manager uh, that, were, that are going to help you with that. Let's take a look at what's going on in the, uh, in the code here. The first thing you're going to notice in uh, the Data Object Manager module is that it's now um, a little bit cleaner. I've moved all the um, all the uh, sort of widget classes to their own folders, uh, simple HTML editor, uh, date picker, etc. Um, and now you have a flash video folder and an MP3 folder. What File Data Object Manager is going to try to do is upgrade uh, certain file types to um, those classes. So you'll see here we have a couple static variables. You can opt in or out in your config file if you want to just set those to false. You can just skip the whole thing. But uh, it will try to upgrade uh, an MP3 file to a special class as well as an FOV or other video file um, to uh, a special class. And um, you're welcome to use that or not. Uh, the only catch is that you do have to be using the straight uh, file class. Um, if you have a custom file class, if you've extended file and you're using something different, um, it's not going to, to upgrade that because if you've gone through the trouble of, of making a custom file class, you wouldn't want um, the, the file data ob object manager to just upgrade that for you and take away those nice features you've created. So. Uh, most of you are just using straight files, so um, that shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, let's get to how this works. I'm going to try, uh, I, I have a resources page here. You see this just empty, and here it is in the CMS. And what I'm going to do is just add an MP3 file. And I'm, <clears throat> I'll just give you a warning ahead of time. I'm on a VPN connection, so I've chosen to work with very small files because the uploading is just really, really slow. And so here's my mp3 file. You can see I've done this several times. And let's look at my resource page template before we go into that. And you'll see I'm controlling resources and then um, attachment is the, name of my is the name of my file object on that um, class. And uh, all I'm doing is just, I, I'm, I'm just returning an attachment. I, I have no other uh, functions running. So um, let's see what that looks like on the front end. We see that it's rendered a flash uh, audio player. Concert B flat tuning note. And there's our B flat tuning note. So any of you who have uh, musical instruments handy, you can go ahead and tune up. It's the smallest MP3 file I have on my computer. So, so that's the audio, and that's really um, all we have right now. This uh, specific audio player only accepts MP3 files, so um, right now let's just keep it to MP3, and, and as much as I'd love to incorporate AIF or um, some of the nicer formats, uh, we'll um, deal with that later. But right now it's nice to have the MP3 functionality in there. Let's go back to the CMS, and we'll delete that. And we're going to try a video file now. I'm going to upload an FLV. And I know some of you are probably wondering, I don't always have FLVs handy, but I'm going to get to that. But right now, let's just uh, let's do this the simplest way and upload an FLV. And I have not made any changes to the template, but when we reload it, that attachment uh, template variable knows to render a flash video player at this point. Sorry about that. So let's um, let's see what what more we can do with this right now. Uh, I'm just returning the attachment uh, template variable, which actually is returning this, and um, with a couple dimensions in it. I, d I don't know what those, let me check what they are. There's some default dimensions. Video height, video width, it's returning 4 by 3. So um, right now what we're seeing is this. Um, the for template method will return the player. So Let's um, let's customize that a little bit more and step into the 
attachment control, and we'll say player. Um, well, let's do uh, keep the four by three ratio. And here, okay, we'll reload, and hopefully my VPN connection will speed up, taking its sweet time. And there is our uh, 280 by 210 flash player. And that actually took so long, I had to edit out uh, the amount of load time that had. So um, hopefully the VPN is going to uh, not cause so many problems for the rest of this. But um, So there we go. And you'll see that the video has been resized. If you do it um, uh, disproportionately to the size of the video, you'll get some black bars and that sort of thing. But it's not actually going to distort the video image. Um, so, um, okay, so that's nice, but it's not quite as flexible as you might like it to be. So let's try some something, um, if you want it to be more customized, um, you might want to get, say, the video, a thumbnail of the video. And let's just get uh, uh, something smaller, like um, uh, we'll do 160 by 120, keep the 4.3, video, and it should say video thumbnail. Now the first time you load this, this might take a while because um, we're generating a thumbnail image and that actually, come, extracting from a video file, especially if it's a big one, that can take a while. Got lucky there. Uh, so there's our video thumbnail. Now where does it know to take the video thumbnail from? Uh, we can specify that in the FLV class. You'll see thumbnail seconds. Right now I'm taking it uh, the first second because I've been working with such short videos that sometimes uh, the tenth second doesn't exist. So there's our video thumbnail and you can imagine you can do whatever you want with that now that you have access to a player and a thumbnail but uh, I, I've embedded uh, a, a sort of magic feature that will allow you to, to just get something quickly with a video thumbnail and a player and if we do video pop-up this will render a video thumbnail of that size and give you a pop-up window uh, of the video much like a, a, a video gallery I know I've had a lot of requests for video galleries and I think this would be an easy way to achieve that so let's let this load and make sure it loads all the way so get my JavaScript and there's our video pop-up video is a little distorted because it wasn't uh, sampled at that size but um, the size of the pop-up video is also a static variable. You'll see uh, default pop-up width. What I was really hoping to do is, uh, if you look at that video pop-up, I have all four parameters in there. Unfortunately, for some reason, the templating uh, engine in Silverstripe is only accepting the first two. And if you put any more than two in, it just doesn't work. So right now, you can only specify the thumb and thumb height on the template, and you have to rely on the... Um, default values in the class for the other two, but I hope that